Connecticut. We're about to leave Connecticut soon. Slack packing today. Me and German Phil. Care of Hudson and Big Lou at the Bearded Woods. It's been a nice couple of days here. And now we're almost done with Connecticut. And going into Massachusetts. About ready to meet some mass holes. I don't know how well it's going to work out for us. But evidently we're about to stroll through a very beautiful spot. And I get the pleasure of showing it all to you. Yes, I do. So as we go on today's little adventure, take lots of nice shots, get some videos. We're just going to stroll along and lull again. pretty fun about to pop up here on top of this big rock slope see what we can see it's probably just a bunch of tree cover yeah I was right good to see some trees oh but we did find a spot over here and take you out and show you Gonna overlook all of Connecticut, maybe. Oh wow. The feeling you get when you're up here and you see that, it's just amazing. Well, according to the sign right here, Riga Junction, we were supposed to have seen Riga Shelter 1.8 miles ago and Brassy Brook Shelter a half a mile ago. We didn't see either. To tell you what, we didn't even see a sign for either. So if we were looking for those shelters, we would have got to this point right here and realized that we'd gone too far. In all fairness, we weren't looking for the shelters particularly because we're on a 17 mile slack pack right now. So it's no big deal. But when you're in the state of Connecticut, it's weirdly blazed, and you're going to have to actually do some looking if you're going to go to one of these shelters at night. So keep your eyes peeled. We passed Brassy Brook. We saw that. We saw Brassy Brook campsite, which we never saw the shelter. So if you're looking for the shelters when you come to these campsites, go up and read the little map signs, because I'm willing to bet my bottom dollar that the shelter was probably on that sign and since it was irrelevant to us we just naturally walked right on by good tip right now we're currently walking through sages ravine it's a really beautiful area 
walking right next to a babbling brook here in a beautiful evergreen forest. We just had a pretty rocky scramble to get down here. I don't know how we made it out alive. It was scary. No, not really, but it was pretty fun. I'm enjoy hiking it, coming back southbound. I mean, it was kind of Albert Mountain style, but a little bit worse. So, as we frolic through the forest, we're having fun today. No worries, just hiking. Mount Everett. There's supposed to be an awesome view up here. Some uh, southbounding day hikers just told us about it. It's super windy up here, but uh, I don't see no view anywhere. Just a bunch of trees that still look dead. It's kind of funny to this Florida boy that there's no leaves on these trees in the tail end of May. Uh, we got leaves on our trees all year long. I've never seen the fall color change. So we're up here on top of this mountain, crawling around like some ants. Slack packing! Looking for this amazing view I was told about. The guy kind of looked like a ruffian. I should know it takes one to know one. <laughs> so maybe I'll be able to show you the view. Maybe not. I mean, we'll uh, figure that out when the time comes. So I have found the amazing view here on top of Mount Everett. And this, my friends, right here behind me is the amazing view.